29 right now. Top stories, guns, rifles, and tear gas. Those are just some of the weapons in Christopher Dorner's arsenal. Police displayed those weapons for the first time and talked about Dorner's final moments. KTLA's Christina Fascucci is live outside LAPD headquarters in downtown to talk about this morning. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Chris and Lou. Good morning, everybody. As we're learning more information surrounding the final moments of Christopher Dorner's life, one big development's coming from the coroner's office. The Riverside County coroner says it appears that the man accused of killing four and injuring several others died from a single gunshot wound to the head. The coroner also says the evidence seems to indicate it was self-inflicted. Take a look at these aerials from Sky 5. As the nation watched as a renegade ex-cop barricaded himself in a cabin following that intense standoff with police. It ended with police throwing powerful tear gas inside that cabin as they tried to bulldoze the cabin walls down. Then that single gunshot was heard within the cabin walls right before the structure burned to the ground. There have been some questions raised on whether police intentionally set that fire. Listen to this. It was not on purpose. We did not intentionally burn down that cabin to get Mr. Dorner out. Pyrotechnic type canisters are commonly referred to as burners. And it's incredible to think how many weapons Dorner was allegedly carrying. At a press conference, authorities showed all of the arsenal Dorner had a sniper rifle, assault weapons, large caliber ammo, the rifle with the word vengeance on it. Now, another big concern for Big Bear residents was how was Dorner able to hide out in a cabin for days right across from the command center where police were posted? Well, police say they knocked on the door where Dorner was allegedly hiding and they tried to open it up, but it was locked. And since they saw no sign of forced entry, they believed it was clear. They say they did follow protocol. So essentially, Christopher Dorner had gone into that cabin just by opening an unlocked door. That's the very latest from downtown. I'll send it back to you, Chris and Lou in Hollywood.